Well, it was a disappointing night for Colombian soccer fans around the world, but a dangerous one for some at a watch party last night in Pico Union. A brawl broke out just before the end of the Copa America final where Colombia lost. That melee left one person stabbed, several others injured. KTLA's Angeli Cockaday live in Pico Union with details on the fallout. Angeli. Sharon, Micah, it's been nearly 24 hours since police were first called to the scene here on South Union. Since then, employees have spent the day picking up trash and beer bottles, all while police try to figure out how a soccer celebration ended in a stabbing. We saw a lot of hair pulling, we saw a lot of blood, um, and we'll see what happened. It was, it was chaotic. This witness describing a bloody scene as chaotic after what was supposed to be a celebration among Colombian soccer fans turned into a violent brawl. It was festive, turned into mayhem. Um, it was a lot of violence. More than 200 people, including family and friends, gathered under white tents next to the Sabor Colombiano restaurant in Pico Union on Sunday to cheer on Colombia in the Copa America tournament. But minutes before the game ended, police say multiple fights broke out. Medics rushed one stabbing victim and two others to the hospital. As crowds waving Colombian flags grew, officers in riot gear can be seen moving in Move. to help stop people from fighting and throwing glass bottles. Broken glass still littering the street on Monday. It definitely shocks me and, it, and it, it's, it's disappointing. Soccer fans like Giuliani Joya were hoping to ease Sunday night's loss by eating some Colombian food. She was greeted with closed gates but says she's not surprised by the fight given the game's multiple delays. It made it people even more obnoxious and angry. Uh, you know, we were waiting. For, I waited an hour and then it was another hour and, and I think people were already overwhelmed and bored. Drinking aside, she's now worried fights like this give the sport a bad name. It's disappointing because it does give a bad uh, image on on the sport you know people start to link that people are violent because of the sport but I don't believe that that's the cause of it I think it's just people are violent because they're violent now I just spoke with LAPD they confirm still no arrests have been made but they are looking for surveillance video anyone in the area that might have something is asked to give them a call for now reporting live in the Pico Union neighborhood Angelique Cockaday I'll send it back to you in the studio